This is a DSE generic 5 button mouse. 5 button in this case is left and right, mouse 3 on the side, and up and down instead of scroll wheel. It's a very light 79 grams, until you put the ball in. Here's a listen to the clicks. They're fairly light and remind me of Omrons a little, and in the response test, they actually did pretty well. It's made of a slightly textured plastic, but these mouse wheel buttons are a bit softer, maybe a rubber coat. The cable is a smooth rubber, but a bit stiff, and there are five tiny mouse feet on the base, which glide surprisingly well. The grip width is about 5.7cm, and the base length is 115 so it has a great 2 to 1 ratio, meaning it's well balanced and allows for multiple aim styles. There are some nice comfort grooves in the buttons, and overall the shape is quite safe. It feels easy to pick up, and it's never slipped out of my hand. Personally, I use this in palm grip, but it could be good for claw and fingertip too. Now in terms of the sensor, it's actually rollers on the inside of the mouse. Can I rocket jump? Barely. In the sniper test, it's not the smoothest tracking I've seen. Counter-Strike players will be happy to hear there is absolutely no liftoff distance on this mouse. In the line tests, well... Those are the straightest lines I've ever seen drawn with a mouse, and technically, that's not angle snapping. It didn't show any skipping either, so it's a great performance. So now the important part, can I aim with this mouse? Um, sure, why not? Here are some highlights. I was hitting projectiles just fine, sniper weapons were a bit tricky, but tracking was the hardest. In conclusion, back when I was playing with this, my lowest ping was 270, so aim was never really that important anyway. These days, obviously you wouldn't use a ball mouse. But this was great for its time. And check it out, I still managed top score on my team. Probably would have won the game if I had been using the EC2A though. Impressive. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. Subscribe for more, like and share this one, and I'll catch you in the next. Blue wins the round. Impressive.